All right, everybody. So, we makes nine one zero back here again with something very powerful this time. This is a Smith and Wesson forty four Magnum. Forgot the number on it. I right, insert it here. Wait a minute, if I can look on the inside of it. It is a model six twenty nine. So this is the large frame. Has fiber optic fronts and adjustable rear sight hasn't been sighted in so i'm gonna beat up my hand trying to sight this thing in so let's go ahead and get right into it we're going ahead and uh let's see we're at 10 yards I'm go ahead and sight it in at 10 yards hopefully it doesn't beat my hand up too bad i shot a 50 never shot a 44 magnum before and i think this may hurt but it is what it is I'm gonna go ahead and get through this so we're gonna be pocket loading this I don't have any speed loaders, so I said I need to get some. But in the meantime, we're just pocket loaded. And we are shooting some 200 and, you may can see that, may not, um, 240 grain, I think that's, yeah, 240 grain SJSP flat. So these are soft tips. So they're a little soft. So. I said we're gonna sight this in at 10 and then we're gonna run our own over the steel like we do every other time. I don't know if I'm ready for this. But you get what you ask for. And I also find out if I need to double up on hearing protection as well. I know the owner of this said that it's not sighted in, but we're gonna find out. Oh, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. It's the first shot. Y'all ready for this? Ooh. Whoa. Ooh, she got a punch to her. Oh, let's get another one. Felt good. Let's get another one. Single action again. Oh, no. She's on. She is on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's try again. Oh, okay. I can, I can feel. I can feel the punch in my hand now. Yeah, she's off. She's off. Okay, so uh, she needs to go to the right. So we'll push it to the left. All right. Because I was aiming for. The top, uh, the top target. The first two hit, I don't know how, but they did. Okay, last round. It felt good, it's not too bad. Damn good pistol. I'm already liking this. See, I've been shooting a lot of wheel guns recently, and I gotta tell you, it's, it's hurting a little bit. You might can see the little red in my hand. I, I'm not a weenie, that much of a weenie, but it's hurting a little bit, but we can get through this. All right, let's see, let's see what my tweaking did. Ooh, I can really feel the, I can feel the kick off of it now. It's, it's getting me. Let's aim for that left side. I think I'm adjusting it the wrong way. Now we're gonna go dead for the middle. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm 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 going the wrong way with it. So we need to take it back the other way. Bottom right target now. I 
I'm thinking this one should be on, fellas. And lady, that one lady that does watch this channel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's going where I'm putting her at, and she is beating my hand up. So, empty chamber. So she's pretty much sighted in. This has a port, and I'm pretty sure you could probably see the gases flying out. It mitigates the recoil very well. Oh, I see that's a high vid sight too. So that's a uh, pretty nifty on here. Barrel's not that warm. And I ran three cylinders, so 18 shots. 18 shots in. It's beating my hand a little bit, but not as much as I would have had expected it to. I was, I was a little timid coming into it, but it's working out pretty well. So she's pretty much zeroed. Now let's go ahead and take on over to the steel. We're not going to shoot this thing at 10 yards. We're going to go back to 15, to 10 yards. I see I could hit that. This is a monster. Okay, so we pushed over to the steel. I wonder how hard this thing is gonna hit. So we got six rounds of the soft tips. The next up rounds is gonna be the jacketed hollow points. We're only gonna run six rounds of that because that stuff is very expensive. I don't wanna burn all of his ammo up. This is not my ammo, so I definitely don't wanna burn all of his ammo up. And I'm pretty sure you know where this pistol come from. Okay, so, <laughs> queso. Let's see how much power this thing actually has. I've never shot in steel. I've never shot steel with a big bore pistol before. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna slam it with authority. Uh, we're gonna try double action. We didn't use double action. It felt smooth whenever I dry fired it, so. We're just gonna give her a go. If we don't hit in the first two, we'll go back to single action. Ooh, that is refreshing. Okay, just shooting all around the target now. Seem a little low. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, we'd have to aim low, it's shooting high. So as long as we aim low at the bottom of the plate, not like that. That one strike, oh my goodness. That was insane. Oh man, we're gonna run one more cylinder. And that's gonna be of the jacket at hollow points. We'll take over to the table. This is 180 grain jacket at hollow points. This is expensive ammo. It's 34, 34.95, 34.99 for 20 rounds. So definitely don't want to burn all this stuff up. But oh, look at that Spider-Man senses. Um, that's it. The jacket at hollow point. Look like it's a soft tip. So let's see what the performance is gonna be out of this. I can about guarantee it's gonna rock that plate. This will be the last cylinder. I know I say we're gonna take our time on the other ones, but I just got a little trigger happy. Pop my cherry a little too quick. Feeling it a little bit, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Let's reset the plate. I don't wanna look like a scrubby scrub again. Gonna take our time. This is 15 yards. I was hitting left and right because I was pulling it. It's a lot of recoil to this, so I'm anticipating the recoil a lot. But where it was striking, human sized target, done. This is preferably for big game animals that's coming at you. That's what I would use it for anyway. <sighs> All right, ready for another adrenaline dump. Work our way from left to right. If we can. In frame? Yeah, we in frame. Mm. 
that trigger is excuse me for saying it hella smooth I'm at the bottom of the plate wheel. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, that break, that port in the top really helps mitigate the recoil. It's still a hard hitting round to your hand while you're shooting it. But it's smooth, just like the 686, <clears throat> if not smoother. It's a little too smooth for this size caliber. Oh, I think we got one more. If we don't, we'll take on over. Oh, boy, I done got her. Come on, give me one more, baby. I ain't even counting. Dang, gonna flinch again. That's why we're missing. Wait a minute. Seems we have a problem here. Cylinder's locked down. Come on now. Did I do something? Cylinder's locked down tight. Can't get the rounds out. That hurts. I never had a cylinder gun locked down on me before. I've heard of this happening. But you guys seen it right here. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Even if I wanted to continue it, I can't. and it would do it in my hands. Oh, oh. So I forced them out. This shell was, she was stuck stuck. That casing was swole up. He's back working now. So, let's run one more. Let's run. I said I wasn't gonna shoot him more. Let's run one more cylinder. You know what? Something is telling me not to. So, I think I better listen to that intuition. I've had things to tell me in the past before not to do something. So, I better not do that. But guys, that's the Smith & Wesson 629. Awesome pistol. What can I say? Ammo. Uh, casing swole up in there. That all is to it. If it's just like any other weapon, it may be some bad ammo. I don't want to run that ammo. Um, still, this thing is a beast. Very hard hitting. Especially after you've seen that, it is very hard hitting. And I love that about a pistol. It's 
not overly aggressive, but you can tell it's going off in your hand every time. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video.